Yes, guys, we're looking at doing a very quick comparison between Canva and Kittle. And I'll tell you one thing, it definitely is the battle of the beasts because these two are absolutely huge, right? They're absolutely massive. Um, so do not underestimate the power of these two because I'll tell you one thing, they've got so much going on. And what I like about these two as well, they are consistently building. Now, definitely, if you want to be selling specially digital products, you want to do anything online. I mean, for me, for my YouTube channel, for my businesses, my online, anything that I need to do, uh, these two are, are absolute musts. But, you know, you don't have to use both. You want to maybe make a choice. And uh, let's just have a look and see exactly what makes these two so good. Now, look, on, on a, in terms of like... On, what it what it does have look in terms of its editing you know editing and and creating different file formats you know canva is pretty amazing pretty easy to use look i mean let's look at the pricing firstly look the pricing works like this you got you can you actually use a free uh version and then you can actually go on to the pro if you want and you know look the pricing is really really cool really acceptable in terms of their suite you know you've got like i said the canva free um and this is let me just go to monthly sorry you know, check out a link in my description as well if you want to try it out. And remember, you can try it for free. And then you've got the Canva Pro £13 a month, which is very reasonable. you also got Canva Teams, Canva Enterprise. But let's say it's just you. £13 a month, you can try it out. It's really cool. Now, what is so amazing about it? Well, I mean, it does everything for me. I mean, I, I, I use it for so many different things. And prime example of it, let's say my YouTube channel. I create all my thumbnails on it. I create all my different socials on it. It's really easy. What I do in terms of a digital product for something like Etsy, um then obviously i'm going to do all my listing images so let me just go to projects very quickly um let me just go to something like creating design i'm just going to touch on some of the things that you can use it for right so let's just go to uh creating little videos it's just just endless right let me just go to custom design right it's just endless really so you know i can show you look, i mean look this is for example uh, a video i've done recently about Im image generators i mean this is simply something that i produced through through prompts so what it does have it has an app on its system where you can actually create uh, images through prompts right so actually i you know just type something about a giraffe on a pickup truck and it will create from you it will generate through through prompts images as well so it's quite amazing that it does have that facility as well right um that's just you know on a side note but obviously with with regards to many other things um you can actually help you edit videos you can uh, obviously when you want to create your let's say you want to create a design right i mean what's great about this is you know this is this is probably the main some of the main things you can do you know what you can do is you can create your listing images very quickly because creating the sizing that you want uh, let me look at my upload so i'll just give you an idea i'd literally create for anything these are some of the thumbnails i produce but you know let's say i want to do some listing sort of images uh, as well um and uh or or do some things with with the uh, background so you know you can do mock-ups so if if say for example i created this in a in another and i want to edit it quick editing suites are really really easy to use you know quick ai background remover really quickly get rid of a background if you don't want it and then maybe use some other backgrounds that it has got i mean i can be here all day really talking about its its features because it will literally help you do anything you want. Look at that. Very easy, quick removal, AI removal. Just say done and it's done, right? Then if I wanted to go to elements, obviously elements is going to have pretty much anything that you need, right? Where you can actually look at uh, graphics. You can look at different fonts to use. But in this case, and you just type in what you want. So I just say background. So let's say just kitchen background, right? Kitchen background, okay? So in this case, let's say I wanted to create a sort of mock-up, right? Put that in the back and just send it to back, right? Uh, now, obviously, what I can do is I can do all sorts of things with the images. I can improve the look, improve the quality. I can make it into a little animation or video. I can add text to it, right? I can use it for listing images. I can do what I like pretty much. I mean, Canva has everything. Um, and then if I wanted to, obviously, in terms of sharing the file format, um, I would. Uh, you can download it in different file formats. So you've got PNG. You can have a transparent background, PNG, JPEG, uh, PDF, SVG, and so on. I think um, in terms of, you know, the, 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 the positives with this, I think the positives with Canva is that um, it has most tools that you need for editing images, right? For sure. And for creating images from scratch. Um, I would probably say that in terms of the quality and upscaling in terms of that resolution, uh, you know, depending on what you want to produce, probably can be better in, in, in terms of like editing and, and removing 
background if it's something that requires a lot of detail and it has you know like let's say a clip art watercolor clip art has a lot of detail yes you can use a background remover and yes you can uh, go to um, manual if you like however to get the real you know you know the the real detail out and and get some of the little bits there removed let's say you probably need something a little bit you know better all right you got these brushes which you can delete if you want to um so i would say that as an all-rounder it can pretty much do most things that you require but i think in terms of that um i think it's more of a all-round platform rather than a designer's a pure designer's platform professional designer and what i mean by that is it can do most things for you for sure um but if i compare it to say say kittle i believe that kittle you know has that level where you know it kind of goes a little bit further and, I, and i'll explain what i mean by that is right and i'll explain what i mean now let's just look at the tools for for kittle um just to give you an idea you know, Kittle, Kittle, if you are wanting to sell digital products, right? I think Kittle is a fantastic tool, all round tool. And what it does, it has some fantastic text effects. You know, uh, Canva has text effects, but not maybe. I think these ones are really, really cool. And uh, they're very, you know, they have some really trending stuff. You can create really amazing mock-ups. Now, you can create mock-ups in Canva too. Um, but I, I just feel like that the levels here are different. You can, you've got some premium fonts i mean some of these fonts are, are phenomenal and they look really really on trend all right you got this uh, ai vector generator and what i mean by vector generator so you can create svgs in canva however they're not really like i would say the the best quality svgs vectors really um i think it will create you know svg vectors in the truest sense so definitely the ai image generators again you can create images um and clip art through its image generator it's got a fantastic ai background remover similar to canva really it can remove your background you also got an ai image upscaler this is quite new so this is a new thing that's that a time of doing this video that they produced um that is really cool yeah so it's got all of these amazing features right it really does and look at these some of these like designs that has it, it always gives you some of the trending things that are happening and one thing i do say about kittle is the quality you know the, the, that quality is a real designer quality and i feel like it is very much ge geared for for designers um right so and, and ai you know the ai features is, is really strong um so i definitely would recommend it if you are looking to go into digital products because what you'll be able to do is you'll create exactly what you want with the sizing that you want with the quality that you want and i feel like you have more control over these elements and, and that's for sure now I just opened up this quick new project and like I said you can you know choose the uh the resolution the DPI that you want which you can't really do in Canva and you put the size and the settings okay um I mean like I said I use both but you, you know you'd have to really you I'll give you I'll just show you exactly how much it costs in a minute but look you just want to upload um anything PNG JPEG whatever it is that you want to do and oh, just upload is something real quick okay okay so I'm just going to upload this image just as an example oh there's more wow that's pretty good right and I'm just gonna uh, put the image on my canvas just to just to give you an idea, really. Like, right. So what's nice is you know obviously I can upscale the image if I want. And in this case, I'm just gonna remove the background quickly. And, you know, things you got all your tools there, guys. Really quick, you can do stuff that you want to do. Look, very quick removal. Look at that, nice and clean, literally. Right. I can vectorize it. I can upscale it. So you know I can actually make the quality even better in terms of its resolution, which is amazing. Um, you know, add add different features, add text to it. You know, you've got all the features that you need on the side. Um, and obviously, if I want to create mock-up, you know, I can actually create a mock-up for this uh, image. And, you know, they've got some really, really cool uh, mock-ups, like I said, for any any item that you want. And, you know, from candles, mugs, but I just got to mugs if I want, because I'm doing a mug as well. Well, I was doing a mug design. You know, all these mock-ups. And I do feel like there, there seems to be a lot of selection a lot of better quality selection with mock-ups on Kittle. I mean, like I said, uh, Canva does have its mock-ups as well, as I think I showed you. Um, yeah, so even if I go to, let's say, mug mock-ups on Elements, so if I just type in mug mock-up, and they're very intuitive, you know, both of them. I, and I think, I think you know, if I had to judge it overall, look, there's some mug, mug mock-ups, right? There's some here. So, you know, they both they both have similar things. Uh, look, there you go, the mug, 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 mug mock-ups. And like I said, you know, when you look at text, you do see a selection of the kind of text that they have. But my my feeling is is that there are some fund some things that 
Kittle has that is more geared towards um, the, a designer, right? The requirements of a designer, of somebody that wants to really get that high quality, right? So let me just go back to editor very quickly. Again, like in terms of, and I think this for me is can be quite important. Let me just increase that. Uh, for me, what's, what's quite important, let's say, is uh, is being accurate with, with types of sizing. So you've got, you know, the sizing, which is then you've got the DPI. Uh, and it actually adds, other, it has other features, optimizing quality. There's a lot of, I think, focus on the quality of the file that you're getting. Um, like I said, you know, things like SVGs, I think, you know, although Canva can do it, it's not the actual real kind of vectorized SVG, uh, which Kittle does for you. Um, so that's, that's the difference, right? Um, and then, you know, downloading it, obviously different format with the, the right DPI, right resolution, it can do that for you. And, and like I said, Kittle has quite a intuitive trending, um, AI where it knows the kind of the, the sort of latest kind of designs that are happening. Um, and the, it's, it's text editing. I haven't even gone into that. You know, it's got really fantastic text styles and text editing where it looks like, you know, like, like I said, some, some of those trending styles and, you know, really cool coloring for designs and logos. Um, and the, the templates that they have, like I said, the templates that are ready to use um, are of that high quality as well. So look, I, I can't knock Canva because Canva is my go-to. I use it for all my sort of editing. However, if you are looking for that, you know, real high quality um, software platform to do those digital products, then I do think that Kittle is a must. Now, I, I use both. I'll be honest. I, I'm, I'm, I'm with both of them. Um, but like I said, if you want to, if you're looking to sell digital products, right, um, then you do, you should really highly consider Kittle. If you want your all rounder, one that just does your all round kind of stuff, you know, not so specialized in design, then um, use uh, Canva. Now, this is the pricing for it. Again, look, free, you can use the free basic, but really you're probably going to need the pro version. Again, it's $10. So even slightly less than Canva, right? I would say, can, uh, you know, if you want to get all of those really cool features, then really you're looking at the expert one. So, you know, I mean, pricing again is very reasonable. So look, like I said, try it out. The link is in my description for both of them, really. Tell me what your favorite platform is below. Just drop it in the comments. Um, yeah, drop me a comment. Take care. See you on the next one.